<laughs> Between us three. <laughs> okay. Um, don't be nervous. This is the easiest thing. And so the whole point of Share Lingo is that it's a safe place to put your toe in the water, right? Um, everybody in this group are just super nice people. They don't join the group if they're not nice people, right? See? Um, the, the mean people and the haters, they don't, they don't come <laughs> to, be, to pay money to be part of this, right? Right. Okay, it's a safe place. Amanda, ¿qué, es, qué está pasando hoy? ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I have a question. Great. Uh, Janet is ba basic in the mid level sí. basic, no? And I intermediate. Yes. Uh, ¿Cómo vamos a hacer? Okay, bueno. Por supuesto, su nivel es más alto que el de Janet, ¿sí? Um, but Janet is a native speaker. Es un hablante nativo. Entonces, ella puede ayudarte a mejorar su nivel. Y por supuesto, también tú puedes ayudar a ella a mejorar su nivel. ¿Ok? Ok. Um, vas a ver, vas a ver hoy. Um, ok. Ahora yo voy a compartir mi pantalla para compartir... Um, materiales y para mostrar cómo funciona nuestro programa. Okay, so her question, Janet, was if she's at intermediate and you're at basic, how are you going to work together? And what I said was, you're a native speaker, so you can help her improve no matter what level she's at, right? And of course, she can also help you improve, right? Um, and also having one person be intermediate makes the communication between the two of you so much easier. Oh, yeah. ¿Sí? ¿Me entiendes? Mm -hmm. Sí, okay. Cuando so tenemos... then, then my question is for mm -hmm. Amanda, Tell me. would she also, or, or for, for James actually, about Amanda, Amanda is intermediate in her English? Mm -hmm. Yes. So would she work with basic with me and then with someone else? Can she do both? Work with another speaker Absolutely. with Spanish who's intermediate? Yes. So your goal is to be comfortable connecting with other people, right? See. Sí. And it doesn't matter. Imagine meeting somebody on the street or somebody in your community. Well, it's, okay, Amanda, si, si no entiende algo, voy a hablar en inglés más que todo. ¿Está bien? Okay. Fine. Okay. So... If you meet somebody in your neighborhood, you're not going to know what level they're at necessarily to begin, right? And, uh, but with this method, you're going to see how two people can practice and help each other and go back and forth, especially when you're using your own materials, all right? So, uh, Janet, I know that you have your journal already going, and you already have a list of some things that you would like to practice. I do. Do you feel like Amanda could help you practice those specific things? See? Of course, of course. <laughs> Amanda, ¿quieres ayudar a Janet para practicar los, uh, los frases que ella tiene mejorar? Claro. Claro, claro que sí. Mm. Y Amanda, ¿también tienes una lista uh, de, de cosas, de palabras o frases que quiere practicar para su vida, su propia vida? Sí, algunas. He hecho una lista, una pequeña lista. Ok. So she has some uh, words and phrases that she would like to specifically practice with also. All right. Let me uh, share the screen here. And... Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, I need to bring it over from the other desktop to this one. Now we can share. And Google Translate is great. It is great. Um, it's one of the things that we're going to talk about today. There are many translation. Um, Spanish Dict, uh, Google Translate. It uh, doesn't really matter which one you're using. 
All right, so here we are in the iShare Lingo platform, all right? And so this is where you can connect with other people. Aquí estamos en la plataforma de Share Lingo de, de Facebook. Um, y es donde ustedes pueden encontrar otras personas que quieren practicar. ¿Está bien? Okay, today, um, basically, can you see my screen? Sí. Yes. Okay. So today we're going to look at the ShareLingo method. Um, I'm going to touch briefly, very briefly, on the Spanish success path, Camino al Éxito del Inglés, and talk about where we are today. Then I'm going to review the four steps of the ShareLingo method. And then we're going to talk about using these four steps with three different kinds of materi materials, okay? Um, si hay alguien que está mirando esta grabación, uh, voy a hablar uh, un poco del camino del éxito del inglés, uh, los cuatro pasos de nuestro método y tres tipos de materiales que tenemos. ¿Está bien? ¿Listas? Ok, so let's jump into first the success path. So you can see this in many forms. I have, I have described the Spanish success path several different ways, but fundamentally um, there is no easier way to learn a language. No hay opción más fácil que hablar con otra persona. It, speaking with another person is the easiest way to pick up a language and to gain confidence, right? Okay. Now, so far in the platform, have you looked, have you identified your why? Janet, I know you have your why for your travel to Spain, right? Amanda, ¿cuál es su único por qué? Mm, además de, de querer por leer documentos, digamos, en inglés por mi, por mi, por la universidad y todo eso, también me gustaría en un futuro viajar. Okay, so for her university, which is a good motivator, and also to travel, right? So these are two very good motivators for why I want to learn a language. That's a very important thing, because once you know why you want to learn, then you can focus on the next part. The next part is the two parts of the language puzzle, foundation and practice. Foundation you can get from anywhere. Foundation is the vocabulary and grammar. That's Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, college um, classes. But the other part, the practice part, that's sheer lingo. That's why you're here, is to find people to practice with. By practicing, that's where it really sinks into your brain. All right? A dos partes del rompecabeza, el base, y la práctica. El base es bien importante, pero hay muchas opciones para aprender más vocabulario y la gramática, pero no es fácil encontrar a alguien para la práctica. Entonces tenemos Sherlingo. All right. Now, how to learn a language, right? Number three, have you both seen this part in, in the platform, in the teaching? No. Okay, so... Um, Fundamentally, uh, what we're saying is it's better to learn a little bit really well than to try and learn a whole bunch at one time. Okay? Uh, I talk more about that in the training. Es más, uh, es mejor aprender un poco muy bien um, que tratar de aprender muchas palabras o muchas frases a la vez. All right. Now, today, you are already meeting a practice partner. So you're already skipping to step number five, meeting somebody. Ahora, hoy, um, estamos practicamos, estamos juntos. Entonces, paso número cinco es encontrar a alguien, alguien para la práctica, pero estamos aquí. Y hoy, uh, en, en este video, en esta grabación, en este... Parte, vamos a hablar sobre paso número cuatro, cómo practicar. We are going to talk about step number four, how to practice together. 
Okay. okay. All right. Um, okay, so today we're going to look at basic one. Now, Amanda, I know this is too low for you. Okay. Um, but we can also look at, uh, let me open up another window. Whoops, wrong, uh, intermediate one, open with. Okay, so um, in the basic one level, we're going to be looking at um, just something simple like introducing yourself, okay? At the intermediate level, we're, we're looking at things like um, the past tense, right? Uh, the sim in, in this particular lesson, it's the simple past tense, right? We celebrated, we followed, he knocked, all right? So maybe we'll look at both of these uh, documents. All right, the share lingo method, and stop me anytime. Si necesita más la información, por favor. Okay, so have you seen this document before? Have you seen this graphic before? No. Okay, so Janet, you're not quite to that part of the training yet, but that's week number four where I talk um, specifically about the four parts of the ShareLingo method, and that's also what we're gonna do today. So Janet, if you can see this, can you please, what is step number one? Listen. Right, so Amanda is a native Spanish speaker. Would you like to listen to her Spanish? Janet? Um, would I like to listen to her Spanish? Si. Okay, Amanda. ¿Cuál es paso, paso número uno es? Escuchar. Escuchar. ¿Quieres escuchar a uh, Janet? Por, sí. Por supuesto. Okay. Now, step number two, then, is... What is step number two, Janet? Read and pronounce. Right. And in Spanish, Amanda? Lee y pronuncia. Exactly. Okay. So steps number one and two are about the part of your brain that does pronunciation. And we all want to improve our pronunciation, right? Okay. Uh, what is step number three, Janet? Understand and translate. And then step number four? Speak, conversation happens. Ultimately, you're here to learn how to have a conversation, right? That's what we want. We want to talk to people. We want conversation. So, um, por favor, Amanda, tres y cuatro pasos. Ok, el tres es entiende y traduce, y el cuatro es habla. La conversación comienza. Es porque estás aquí. Es para la conversación, ¿verdad? Quieres hablar con otras personas, ¿sí? Por supuesto. Ok, steps three and four focus on the language part of your brain. Ok, hay dos partes de tu mente. Uno es para pronunciación y otra parte es del idioma, de la lengua. ¿Sí? Lenguaje, lenguaje, no lengua. <laughs> ok, you ready to jump in? Yes. All right, so let's start with this. So, Janet, the first, the first step was listening, right? So what you're going to do is give Amanda an opportunity to listen to your English. Could you please read both sides of this simple conversation down to about here? Okay. So we're just going to do a little bit. So please read in English that, okay. that section. Um, good morning. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Janet. Hi, I'm James. Nice to meet you too. 
What's your name again? My name is Janet. How are you? Awesome. Great English, right? <laughs> are you still nervous? No. No. That was easy, right? But you are, you are helping Amanda right now. You're helping her by going slowly. And if she wants you to repeat something, you can repeat it. But it's really good English for her to listen to while she reads. Okay? Okay. Amanda. Yes? What did you think? Mm, I think I have, I want she repeat when you say James, I'm, I have a difficulty with that. Okay. We will, and we'll come back to that, okay? Okay. But now, remember, we're still in step number one, listening. So, is it okay if Janet listens to your Spanish? ¿Está bien si ella escucha su español? Por supuesto. Por favor, lee lo mismo en español. Okay. Buenos días. Hola. Mucho gusto. Me llamo Amanda. Mi nombre es James. Es un placer conocerte. ¿Cómo dijiste que te llamas? Mi nombre es James. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Ok. Pretty good Spanish, right, Janet? Very good. A little fast. Okay. Poco más, mejor, poco más despacio, porque oh. ella está escuchando, ¿sí? Ok. Ok, está bien. Ok. Ahora, each one of you is talking. Can you see what's happening? You are helping each other already. Sí. All right. How do you feel? Good. 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 Bien. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to switch. Somebody's going to read in their target language, and the other person is going to help. You ready? Ready. Okay. ready. Who wants to start? Mm. Yo. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Amanda, por favor. Uh, Amanda, el inglés. And so, Janet. What you want to do is listen to her English, let her finish, and then help her with anything you can. Okay. Okay. Por favor, Amanda. Okay. In English, right? Yes. Okay. Good morning. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Amanda. Hi, I'm James. Nice to meet you too. What's your, what's your name again? My name is James. How are you? I'm Great. fine, thank you. And you? Really good. So, <laughs> yes, that was very, very good. But is there anything that you can help her with? Remember that no matter what her level is, the desire is to go higher, right? So even though it was really good, can we help her go even higher? I mean, to me, everything sounded fine. Okay. Um, are you thinking there's a word she could say more English-like? Well, for example, um, Amanda, most of the time, your M is good. So, M es, está bien, pero a veces falta el M. Recuerda que M es diferente que N o N. ¿Sí? Entonces, por favor, repita por favor, my name is. My name is. All right. So, what, what I'm trying to pull, pull out here, Janet, is that um, she dropped the M a couple of times. And so, if we can, uh, if, we, if we hear those kinds of things, uh, we can help them with that. Can you explain what that means? She drops the M. Uh, my name is my name. Ah, is instead of it's like she didn't close her lips for the M. My name is right. It was very subtle. I've been doing this a long time, right? So I will hear things that you might not, but that's okay. I'm just trying to illustrate the process. She's too good. She is too good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's good for you. Believe me. Trust me. When we look at the intermediate, um, uh, 
uh, let's do one more exercise and then we'll look at the other materials, intermediate, okay? Okay, so Janet, could you please read the same thing in Spanish and when you finish, Amanda is going to help you. Okay. Buenos dias. Hola. Mucho gusto. Me llamo Janet. Mi nombre es Janet. Es un placer conocerte. Como dijiste que te amas? Mi nombre es James. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Tú? Same problem. You're too good. <laughs> Amanda, hay algo, hay algo que, que puede ayudar? Okay. When she said, uh, es un placer conocerte. Okay. Es un okay. placer conocerte. Wow. That's really, really good. So your accent is already really good. Um, have you been around Spanish speakers? I have, uh, I, but I, I'm better if I speak slowly. Of course. Okay. And I had my sister-in-law who's from Puerto Rico. She speaks good English. She speaks good Spanish. She sent me a, uh, an oral message today on my phone and she uh -huh. spoke very slowly so I could kind of make out what she said. When Amanda speaks in her normal speed, I miss it. So what are you going to do? What can you do to start tuning your ear to normal speed? Me? Mm-hmm. Speak. <laughs> no. And listen. Listen. Do you ever listen to Spanish talk radio? Yes. Okay, this is the best thing you can do. Talk radio or like CNN in Espanol, CNN in Espanol. Oh. It doesn't matter if you understand like only 1%. You're okay. effective in listening and you can do this. I'm not talking about intense listening. I'm talking about having Spanish going in the background while you're doing other things. Okay. The more you can listen, what will happen over a couple of weeks is you're going to be able to start pulling out each individual word when they're talking. And then if you're curious, you can go to Google Translate and look up that word. But your first objective is just to get the rhythm of the language so you can identify the individual words at normal speed. Amanda, do you listen to English radio or TV? TV, movies, more than anything. Mm -hmm. Does that and help? Music. Uh, yeah. music. music. Music is great. Um, we actually have a lesson on, uh, on music, right? Uh, we give you a, a lesson on where to go get the translations for the music you like. Okay. Any questions about steps one and two? Hay preguntas de pasos uno o dos. ¿Cómo funciona? No. No, no. Okay. Recuerda que con estos pasos estamos enfocado en la pronunciación específicamente. So, steps one and two, we are specifically working on pronunciation in that part of your brain. Okay? Okay. Do you, but it's not scary. Both people are just trying to help the other person. Right? No, no tiene miedo ni vergüenza de tratar porque la otra persona... También está aprendiendo, ¿sí? And Amanda and I agreed to, um, to start practicing it as a pair this week. And okay. then we both agreed, we were messaging each other that maybe we should have guidance from you for the first time. Excellent. Okay. So that's, we, I'm glad. That's what I live for. Yeah. Okay. Um, and even after you have practiced together a few times, come back to me with questions or roadblocks or insecurities because the whole point is to make this comfortable and friendly and amazing, right? Okay. okay. What was step three and what was step four? 
um, under, um, in Okay. What is step three? Understand, Understand and translate. Uh huh. And step four? Speak. Speak. Okay. Conversation happens. All right. So the language part of your brain is different. So we're going to come back here. And because we're using a computer and not an actual piece of paper, right? Um, with a piece of paper, you can fold it or you can cover one side or do whatever. But what you want to do is take your journal or some other piece of paper or whatever, and you're going to cover one side of the page. Okay, ahora vamos a traducir. Entonces, tenemos dos lados de este, de este documento. Y vas a cubrir un lado y traduce de un idioma a otro idioma. ¿Sí? Okay. Janet, what I would like you to do is try and cover the English. We're just going to check this. So see if you can hide the English from your view. I'm just taking, I'll show you what I'm doing here, right? Like I have the screen up here. I'm just going to cover one side, right? Okay. okay. All right, so what I'd like you to do is cover the English and see if it's too easy to translate from the Spanish to the English, just what we've already read. So just read what I say. think it is in English? Yes. So say, buenos dias, what does that mean? Buenos dias, good morning. Mm -hmm. Hola, hello, mucho gusto, nice to meet you. Me amo Janet, my name is Janet. Mm -hmm. Mi nombre es James, my name is James. Es un placer conocerte. Okay, stop there. Try and cover the other side. I think that's too easy for you. Ah. Uh, okay, I want to cover you guys. Um, buenos, buenos dias. Mm -hmm. Hola. Mucho gusto. Me amo is, es, me amo Janet. Hola. Um, hola. Um, my, mm. <laughs> um, you are in Puerto Rico. Mi nombre es. Uh, yes, mi nombre es. Mi nombre es. Mm -hmm. Es un placer conocerte. Um, Nice to meet you. Uh, no sé. Okay, it's okay if you cheat. It's okay to look. Okay, es un placer conoc conocerte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheating. Como dijiste que te amas? Right, now I want to make some point here. What's your name again? This is not a literal translation, all right? Como dijiste que te llamas literally means what did you say you call yourself? Oh. Okay. This is not a word for word translation. All right. This is how people talk. All right. So my point is right now, Janet, can you feel yourself thinking, thinking about this? Hard. Excellent. That's what you want. If it's too easy, you don't learn anything. Si es demasiado fácil, no vas a aprender nada. ¿Entiendes? Entonces, es importante que está pensando y que es un poco duro. Pero no, but we don't want to be frustrated. Right. We want to be exercising our brain, but not frustrated. Good? Now, so um, Amanda, ¿cómo se dice... Dijiste. Dijiste. How do you uh, say it? In, in English or Spanish? In Espanol. Ah, okay. ¿Cómo dijiste que te llamas? Dijiste. 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 Uh -huh. See? With us. Dijiste. Dijiste. 
Okay. So, di, he, de. Di, he, de. I have a hard time with the I being e. I still say di, he, de. Di, he, de. Di, Nicaragua. Uh -huh. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good job. Um, Amanda, yo sé que este nivel es, es tan fácil para ti, pero solo para mostrar cómo funciona. Read el inglés y traduce de español a inglés, por favor. Good morning. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name, my name is Amanda. It's a pleasure to meet you. How do you say how do you say your name again? My name is James. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Something wonderful just happened. Okay. He said, my name is, and then he corrected herself. My name is. Mm -hmm. Good job, Amanda. That was excellent. Excellent. So, today, in just 30 minutes, you have already improved your English. In solo 30 minutes, has mejorado, me, has mejorado su inglés. Felicidad. Okay, Janet, any questions there? No. Okay, simple exercise, but really powerful. Cover one side, try to translate, okay? It's much easier to translate from target language to your own language than it is to translate from your own language to your target language. Okay? But it doesn't matter which one you do. Okay, you ready to move forward? Yes. Okay, what is step number four? Speak. 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 Right. That's why you're here. So, what we're going to do now is we're, we're, we do not use the materials, okay? So, um, actually, what I'm going to do, I'll come back to that in a minute. So, what I would like you to do, the two of you, is that little conversation between the two of you. Ask a question. Janet, can you ask Amanda a question? Um about this particular thing, this theme, this topic, which is just meeting each other. Can you ask her a question? Um, Tienes hermanas? No. Hermanos? No? That's a different theme. Oh. We're, only, we're only talking about what we have read. So, hola, como estas? Mm -hmm. Muy bien, y tú? Muy bien. Um, mi nombre es Janet. Mucho gusto, Janet. Uh, ¿Cuántos años tienes? No, we don't, we don't know that yet. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, okay so we're just staying with, 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 what, with what you're talking about right now, okay? So suppose that, okay, watch. I'll illustrate a little bit better, all right? Okay. So, um... Let me share the screen again. All right, let's look at the intermediate lesson. Um, really quickly, so now, Janet, we're stepping up to intermediate. We're kind of going into Amanda's level, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Amanda, just real quick, please read number one and two. I'm sorry, Amanda, please read one and two in Spanish, okay? Okay. La Navidad del año pasado fue fantástica. Nosotros celebramos la Navidad en México. Muy bien, está bien. Janet, could you please read the same thing in English? Christmas last year was fantastic. We celebrated Christmas in Me Mexico. 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 Great. Great. Okay, Amanda, please read the same thing in English. Christmas last year was fantastic. We celebrated Christmas in Mexico. Okay. 
Janet, same thing in Spanish. La Navidad del año pasado fue fantástica. Nosotros celebramos la Navidad en México. Muy bien. You're both doing great. At any time, you can help each other, right? Okay. Now, can you cover one side? Janet, can you cover, um, cover, the, cover the English? Cover the English, read the Spanish, and try and translate. La Navidad del año pasado fue fantástica. The Christmas last year was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Or Christmas last year was fantastic. Good correction. Not the Christmas. Yes. Okay. And number uh, two. Nosotros celebramos la Navidad en México. We celebrated Christmas in Mexico. Great. Amanda, can you translate from, um, from Spanish to English? Okay. Tapo la parte de español, ¿no? Sí. Uh, no, no, no. Cubre el inglés okay. y lee el español. Okay. La Navidad del año pasado fue fantástica. Christmas last year was fantastic. Mm -hmm. We celebrate the, the Christmas in Mexico. Okay, great. Janet, what can you help her with? There's two things that I heard. Um, can you help her with that pronunciation? Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, no, fantastic. How do you say repeat, please? Fantastic. 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 Excellent. Fantastic. Great. Right. No, fantastic. Fantastic. It's fantastic. 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 Excellent. Okay. Yeah. All right. Amanda, say celebrated. Celebrated. Good. ¿Cómo termina las palabras? Es bien importante para nosotros. Okay. We have to hear how words finish. Okay. Vamos a oír cómo terminan las palabras, okay? okay. Say, last year. Janet, last year. help her say last year. Last year. Last. Year. Year. Right. And the T. Last, last year. Last year. Excellent. Okay. Um, there's a there's a sweet spot. Like we don't want to beat them to death. Right. Right. We want to help them. We don't want to be too nice, but we want to help them like two or three times and then move on. If if they don't get it, move on because you're going to be practicing together for months, maybe years. Who knows? You might be friends for a lifetime. Right. And there's plenty of opportunities in the future to come back and, and reinforce these things. Okay? Okay. 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 Um, now, what is the theme? ¿Cuál es la tema de este documento? Pasado, sí. Sí. Y, y más, la, la tema. Okay. The, es la Navidad, ¿verdad? Okay, so in the first document, we were just talking about simple greetings. Now we're talking about Christmas. See where I'm going? Sí. So what we would do now for step number four is see if we could ask a question about Christmas. Does that make sense? Now, we've only done two sentences. After you get further down the page, you're going to have more stuff that you can ask. Okay? Por paso número cuatro, um, the, la tema, el tema de, de este documento es la Navidad. Entonces, por paso número cuatro, ustedes pueden preguntar algo sobre la Navidad a su compañero. So, you're going to ask in your target language, and then the person is going to respond in that same language, and then they're going to ask something to you, and then you will respond, okay? Okay. 
So repeat for me, what are the four parts, Janet? Um, um, <laughs> what did we do first? We, is it pronunciation or listen? Listening and then pronunciation. Pronunciation. Um, and I can't remember three, but I remember four, which is conversation. Okay, Amanda, ¿cuáles son los cuatro pasos? Well, uh, cuatro. No, los cuatro pasos. ¿Cuáles? Oh, los cuatro pasos, ok. Ay, Dios, yo voy a... Lee y escucha. Es número dos. Listen. Ok, sí. número uno es... Número uno es escuchar. Escuchar. Número dos. Es este... Ay, cómo se me olvidó. Lee y escuchar. pronunciar. Ok. Lee y pronunciar. La... Tres, Pero. Ok. La tres... El tres, perdón. <ríe> eh, es... No, speak es muy... Um, ok, es traducir. Sí, exacto, muy bien. Traducir. So, number three is translate. We cover one side. Uh -huh. And number four is conversation. That is, ask a question and listen to the answer. Ok? Es preguntar, paso número cuatro es pre preguntar algo sobre la tema, el tema de, de este documento. Y um, escucha la respuesta. Ok? Okay, so it is a very simple method. You're with me? Now, we used the same method with two different levels, right? Yeah. Now we're going to use the same method with a little bit different materials. You ready? Yeah. Okay, we have a list of the five thousand most common words in order of rank. Tenemos una lista de los cinco mil palabras más comunes en orden. ¿Está bien? Okay. This is in the platform and you can get, you can get to it. So, the first words, the first one thousand words are beginner words. Like, um, no, very, her, even, all right? As we go higher, from 1,000 to 2,000 are the basic level, basic one level. So alone, customer, speed. And as we go higher in the numbers, 2,000 and then 3,000, the, these are the, now we're in the intermediate level. Okay. Okay. So what we have here, we're going to, we're going to look at basic one for now. All right. Amanda. Yes. Could you please read in Spanish, the blue in Spanish, say, let's read the first, well, let's just read one sentence. Okay. Okay. Un, una oración, pero en español, por favor. Okay. Solo el, el que está solo no tiene poder. Good. Janet, could you read the same thing? Line number one, 1101 in English? Alone. He, he who stands alone has no power. Okay. So, now, can you switch and help each other? So, Janet, read the Spanish. Solo. El que está solo no tiene poder. Amanda, ¿puedes ayudar? Ok. El, cuando dice está, es como un poquito más fuerte en, el, en la A. El que está. El que está solo no tiene poder. Muy bien, muy bien. Está funcionando. Gracias. Está. 
El que yes. está. Okay. Amanda, the same thing in English, please. Okay. Alone. He who is he who stands alone has no power. Muy bien. Okay. Uh, he who. Who. He who stands alone. He who stands stands. Stands. Stands alone has no power. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit different thing. All right. Now, step number three is translate, right? So, again, you can cover one side and try and translate. Janet, if you cover one of those things, like cover the English and then read the Spanish, and can you say it in English? Okay, so, el que está solo no tiene poder. Uh -huh. He who stands alone has no power. Uh-huh, right. Amanda, can you do the same thing? Okay. He who stands alone has no power. El que está solo no tiene poder. Right. So now you're doing the translation thing. Now let's throw let's throw a challenge in there, okay? Okay. Anna, in English, can you give me a different sentence using the word alone? Um soy um soy solo aquí. So Amanda, can you help her? Oh, oh, estoy. But really, yes, estoy sola, estoy sola. But I really want it in English. I want you to give me an English sentence. Okay. Um, I live alone. That's fine. I live alone. Amanda? Yes. How do we say that in Spanish? Uh, yo vivo sola. Okay. Sola. Now, right. Now, let's hit Google Translate for a minute. Suppose that you're trying to make a sentence. Um, so the word is alone, right? Right. Okay. I'm going to raise the level a little bit. Like, of course, we can type in, I live alone, right? right. And vivo solo. Or for mujeres, for, for girls, vivo sola, right? Okay. But um, just make it a little bit more interesting, right? Vivo solo or sola con mis perros. Where I'm going? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. What I'm trying to introduce you to is the possibility of whatever this word is, making up, we've given you some example sentences, but you can try and make up your own sentence with that word. And then if you need to, you can go to Google Translate and type in that sentence and allow Google Translate to do a translation and then use the th four parts so, step number one, we can say, I live alone with my dogs. Step number two, vivo solo con mis perros, right? And Amanda can help me say perros, like, blah, 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 blah. Right? <laughs> okay? And then I can cover one side and see if I can translate. And then I could ask a question. For example, I could say, Amanda, ¿vives sola? Yeah. No, I live with my mom, my grandma, and my brother. Okay, and then Amanda, you could say, Janet, do you live alone? Or you might say, instead, you might say, Janet, do you have any dogs? Sí, uh, estoy un perro. Tengo, tengo, tengo un tengo. perro. Gracias, tengo un perro. See what's happening? Now, something else is happening that I want to point out. 
as you start asking each other questions, you start finding out about the other person. Con, los, con las preguntas, tú vas a aprender más sobre la otra persona. You're going to become friends. Right? Sí. Janet, you just learned that Amanda lives with her parents and grandparents. A little piece of her life. Mm -hmm. You learned that you have a dog. And you're going to become friends. Okay. okay. As the friendship grows, this whole process gets super easy. Because you're just friends texting each other and talking to each other. And how are you today? And practicing. ¿Me entiendes? Es más fácil. Cuando con, entre, entre amigos, el proceso es, es bien fácil. Okay. Now, so that was the idea that we can use these steps, one, two, three, and four, with share lingo materials. We can use them with just common words and we can make up our own phrases. Okay? Podemos usar el método Sherlingo con, con los materiales de Sherlingo, pero también con los otros pa palabras, de los cinco mil palabras, o cualquier palabras. ¿Sí? Funciona. Funciona muy bien. What is the third kind of materials we want to use? The most important. If you have your journal mm -hmm. and you have your own words, si tiene su, su cuaderno y tiene sus propios palabras, pueden usar esta método con sus propios materiales. Sí. Janet, if you have your own phrases, can you see how to use these four steps with your own phrases? Sí. Do you want to try it? You have to share. Uh, you have the one that's on the um, Facebook page. Let me see. Uh, I don't know if I can find it real quick, what you posted, that picture. Oh, yes, and I have the book here. But uh, Oh, here it is. OK. OK. Um, Amanda, is this, can you, can you read this? Okay, I'm learning to speak Spanish finally. Okay, hold on. So first we're going to do it. Janet, uh, if you can see this, it might be a little small, but please read your, please read like the first three sentences in English. Okay. I am learning to speak Spanish finally. I am learning very slowly, but with help. Can you please speak more slowly? Great English. <laughs> Amanda, por favor, lo mismo en español. Okay. Estoy aprendiendo a hablar español por fin. Estoy aprendiendo muy lentamente, pero con ayuda. ¿Puedes, por favor, hablar más despacio? Okay. Amanda, um, there's one extra thing here. Okay. Please confirm, por favor, verificar si todo es correcto con las traducciones. Hay, si hay algo que, que necesita cambiar. Yo creo que está bien, pero eres un hablante nativo. Está bien. Okay, so what just happened, Janet, is um, I asked her to verify. Like, Google's great, but Google makes mistakes. See? Sí. So what we have here is a native speaker. And so you can do your translation, you can do the Google Translate, and then ask Amanda to verify. Or, even though Google might be correct, technically, there might be a better way to say that. Okay. 
Does that make sense? Imagine it coming from Spanish to English, right? So Amanda might write her, Amanda, do you have a sentence that you would like to say in English? Mm, right now, no, but I have some, some things that I don't have here right now because I know in my house and my uncle's house. Okay, um, just think of one thing. Uh, what is one thing you would love to know how to say in English? Okay, I have a problem with the word successful. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronunciate. Okay, and pronunciate. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to do, Janet. So, por favor, Amanda, en español, una pregunta, ¿cómo? No sé cómo pronunciar éxito en inglés. Okay, okay hago esa pregunta entonces. Sí, en español. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo pronuncio exitoso en inglés? Pro... Ok, so what I'm doing right now is Amanda has a question. Ok, and she knows what she wants to improve. So she's going to put this into uh, Google Translate or whatever in Spanish, and she's going to let Google Translate make it in English. And then Janet, could you please read the English for her really slowly and also confirm if what Google did is correct? <laughs> Okay. How do I pronounce successful in English? And that's confirmed that that's correct. Okay, Amanda, say that's that right. sentence. It is correct. Okay. Com successful. Say successful. Right. And also pronounce. No es pronunciate. No es pronuncio. Pronounce. No, it's pronounce. Toda la oración. In English? Yes. Okay. How do I pronounce successful in English? Good job. Now you could say, how do I pronounce exitoso in English? Janet, how do I pronounce exitoso in English? See what I'm saying? See. Amanda, you see what I'm saying? Yes. So this, then I need to look up extioso to understand it means successful. Yes. Okay. So this screen that we have, remember, when you're doing Zoom, you can share your screen. So before we started, I opened up some documents. I opened up the, these other things. I opened up the method. And I also opened up Google Translate. And they're all right here. And we can just bounce from one tab to another tab and work together. Podemos cambiar de, de un... ¿Cómo se dice tab? ¿Qué es esto? Eh, aquí, es un tab. En inglés es un tab. One tab, two tabs, three tabs. Oh, pestañas. Pestañas? Pestañas. Okay. 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 So, this, the whole screen is pantalla. Y esta es pestaña. Okay, so what I can do right now is I could go in and I could switch this and say like tab uh, and see whether... Hay varias maneras que decirlo, pero más que todo en español, acá le llamamos pestaña a cada una, o ventana. Ah, eyelash. Pestaña es eyelash? Ajá, también. I didn't know. <laughs> See, I'm learning, okay? So what am I going to do? I just learned a new word, right? Yeah. Am I going to let that new word fly past me? No. Like, wow, that's cool, right? No, I'm going to grab my journal <laughs> and I'm going to write... Pestaña. 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 Eyelash. 
but it's also the tab on the Google screen, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so now I have that in my journal, right? Janet, did I talk to you the other day about this rocket journal, rocket book? Yes, yes. Okay, you I won't did. do it again. Okay, how are you feeling? Okay. I feel good. ¿Cómo yeah. se sientes? Okay. Recuerda que hoy estoy hablando cómo funciona nuestro programa y ustedes van a practicar por una hora o más, si prefieres, ok, próxima okay. vez. ¿Sí? Okay. So, let's review here. Today, we talked about four parts. Four parts. Right. Where can we find those? If you are in the... Um, I'm going to open up the uh, English version. So, in the platform, when we look at... So, es lo mismo en español, ¿ok? Amanda, tú tienes um, el, la plataforma en español, ¿verdad? Pero aquí tenemos comprender cómo practicar. Okay. Understanding how to practice, right? So, Janet, when you get to this section... Yes. Okay, um, you're going to get to uh, the ShareLingo method, right? And that's where, or you can watch this video, but it's going to tell you the same thing that I told you today, right? Right. All right. But what you want is this, uh, this document, the ShareLingo method. All right. So there's four steps to the method. They're, they're all part of the platform. Um, and you can use this method with any materials. Ustedes pueden usar este método con cualquieres materiales. Pero mira, lo que es importante, es bien importante que usan todos los cuatro pasos. Todos los cuatro pasos. It's really important that you use all four parts. What a lot of people end up doing is they just they just do number one and two because it's so fun, right? Right. And it's like, then you spend the whole hour just doing pronunciation and you don't do the other side of the brain. The four steps are important, okay? Now, another thing to be, I'm gonna stop sharing, okay. One more thing, right? During the conversation part, okay. right? right? Keep it short. Short conversation. Okay. Conversación corto, okay? Amanda. Yes? Tú vas a querer hablar mucho en inglés porque tiene un hablante nativo, ¿sí? Okay. okay. Pero si solo habla por 20 minutos y no usa el método, ¿ok? No van a aprender específicamente, ¿ok? So, what I'm saying, Janet, is we don't want to digress into just a 20-minute conversation. Like, how was your Christmas? Oh, that's super interesting. What were you doing? And then, you know, we end up with this 20-minute conversation that is only in English. Yes. Because Amanda's level of English is higher, you have a danger of popping into a pure English conversation, which is great for Amanda, but it doesn't, for her. it doesn't help you come out at the end. Okay. Okay. Now, as friends, it may be that you want to have conversations. And... You know, but keep keep those conversations a little bit separate from the the time that you're doing the share lingo method. See what I'm saying? Okay. So you want to take little short pieces, 
que me ha tocado. Sí, si quiere tener conversaciones, muy bien, es excelente, ¿ok? Pero es afuera del metro. Okay. And then how do people generally communicate? Like um, WhatsApp or? Yes, absolutely. WhatsApp is the one of the best uh, opportunity options for the instant communication, all right? Do not be afraid to record your voice, right? Right. In WhatsApp, you can do voice and video, not just text. Right? Right. Oh. Okay. Janet, don't be afraid to say, or Amanda, you know the sentence that we had? Um, let me go back, 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 back. Okay. For example, in WhatsApp, you could send Janet a WhatsApp and say, Janet, right? How do I pronounce exitoso in English? Successful, right? Huh. And Janet, you can reply with a voice message saying successful, successful, right? You can also do a video message so she can see your lips. Mm -hmm. The thing about WhatsApp is it's convenient. Just little, little bites. How do I do this? All right, so Janet, you've made a new friend here today, right? Sí. And this is a tremendous resource for you to get ready for your journey. Okay, Amanda, ahora tiene una nueva amiga, es un recurso. Bien importante, ¿ok? Puede cambiar la vida. Okay. Espero que algún día tú puedes visitar a Janet. Ella vive en uh, oh. Nueva York. You live, sí. Where do you live, Janet? Nueva York. Yeah. Amanda, ¿quieres visitar Nueva York? Claro. Claro, sí. Claro. Janet, do you think you would be happy to see her if she came to New York? Sí. And do you think you would love to go see her in Nicaragua? Oh, yeah. oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. I have a friend. Mm -hmm. sí. I'm so happy for you both. Thank you. Gracias. Estoy feliz para ustedes. Bienvenidos a bienvenidas a nuestra familia Shalingo. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay. I'm going to ask again, how are you feeling? Do you feel, I know there's probably like some, like, oh my God. But do you okay. feel confident enough to try this yourselves? Yes. yes. Did today help? Yes. A lot. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I think we would, would have been lost, Amanda and I would probably, I bet you I would resort to having Amanda speak English to me. Right. To learn about her. Yes. Yes, but you're two weeks. You're two weeks ahead of the schedule. Yeah. So don't beat yourself up. You haven't seen the training yet. <laughs> Good. Okay. So uh, there, also in the platform, there are some examples uh, of me doing this with some other people. So you can yes. watch. You can watch those videos also. Okay. And so, do we go through Google Docs to for Amanda and I to schedule each other, or we just? Mm -mm. No, now, now you just do this, okay? Uh, just do WhatsApp, say, when can you meet? One of you creates a Zoom link and shares that link. Easy peasy. Okay. So I will message you my number. Mm -hmm. Number, um, how do you say number? Numero. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Good luck, ladies. All right. Thank you, James. James. All right. You're Thank you, Amanda. All right. Thank I'm going to stop the recording and then, uh, so bye. bye. Hasta pronto. Adios. Hasta pronto. Adios.